I'm often asked, why did it take you such a long time to come forward with your story? For 20 years, I felt terrified that somebody would find me and ask the question I had been dreading, which is, didn't you used to work for Harvey Weinstein? New Yorker magazine reporting claims of sexual harassment, assault, and rape. The Harvey Weinstein scandal. Please, I don't want to do something I don't want. For five minutes. Don't ruin your friendship with me for five minutes. What was going through your mind as he's saying those things? That just made me feel like burning inside. We knew that the facts and crimes have to be quite large to take someone like that down. This is the story of a group of sources who risked everything to expose the truth. And we wanted him to be stopped. It's the story of how media... These are fellow journalists. How could they have killed that story? And law enforcement and the world of private espionage... I didn't know if they're going to come after me. ...protected a powerful and predatory man. He said, Rosani, you're making a very big mistake. It really did feel like the ungettable story. Anybody around us in the story orbit, they knew they were at great risk. Harvey could basically say, would you like an Oscar or to litigate until I destroy you? Weinstein's team was pushing very, very hard for us to use the term assault. And I said, these women call it rape, and it fits the legal definition. Call it what it is. You were brave and strategic and savvy. Even a woman that wears high heels and a short skirt can stop someone bad. What happened to me shouldn't happen to other women.